Hey guys, it's Shane. Welcome back down to the workshop. So today I'm going to be doing part two of the leatherworking scabbard. So this scabbard is where we got up to last time. It's been felted on the inside. I have previously just varnished all these uh, edges and I'll go over that how I do that. But uh, that's what we're getting into today. Hope you'll stick around and uh, join us for the rest of it. If you do, please hit the subscribe button and hit the uh, bell button that will alert you when I go live with new stuff. Okay, so let's crack straight on. So, this is where we got up to last time. Uh, since then, I have just varnished all these edges. Now, that's done with a bit of water and one of these tools, a varnishing tool. Now, very simple. I've got two pieces here that I still need to do, so I'll go over that nicely. Now, these bits have already been beaten, redone. They just need the punctures, putting into place, snapping on with either these uh, rivets or one of these snap-on clips. Okay, so that's all out of the way. So we're just going to get these ready for varnishing. Now, this is an edging tool. Okay, very small little tool. And what I'm going to do is just gently take off a little bit of each edge. Not too much. I don't want too much. Okay. Now the other side. So that's both sides done. Okay. So it leaves you like a little slit. I don't know if the camera can pick that up very much. All right, so we'll clean that up. We don't need that anymore. Now these have to be varnished with this tool. So what I'm gonna do, just wet my finger, just run my, a bit of water along the edges. Just the edges. Okay. Now we get uh, one of these rivets that is roughly the same size and then we just run it backwards and forwards really quick. And what that does, it, it kind of burns it in and brandishes it and, and you know, really polishes up the, the sides and gives you a nice smooth finish, okay? Rather than a, a rough edge. Doesn't take long. Okay, so we've got a nice varnished or burnished edge. Right, so that's that bit done. What we're going to do is we're going to leave them bits and we're going to work on our headpiece. Now this is going to attach behind here, like so, uh, with this D-ring into it. And then this is going to go into here like that. Okay, now that's what our belt will go through. Yeah? Does that make sense? Okay. So in order to make this, we'll start with this bit. Okay, so I need to put some holes in for these little pins. Now, I'll show you these. Now these are rivets. I think these are six mil. Okay, they come in two pieces. You have a male and a female. The male, obviously, has a large spike. We can put that onto the side. Like so, yeah. And then the female has a head part that goes into it. So what we would do, we get another little tool, which is this. Now this has a dial with different uh, sizes on it, okay? And what we'll do is you put them both together. Now I recommend putting your part in that you're gonna be trying to seal. Like so. Okay, so I know roughly how much room I've got okay now that goes in there so i just need to make a hole through the pair of them and squeeze give it a good belt and you'll hear a click when you know it's gone right through and it gives you a perfect hole through both of them now once you've got one you you can line that up again 
make sure that goes through properly and then just give yourself another one so you've got a nice bit of We've got two nice holes. Now, put your ring through. And what we're going to do is slide your male end through both holes. If I can find the hole. <laughs> Story of my life. Get in there. All right, okay. So that just come, peeks through, look. And then we take the cap or the female end and sit that on the top and it'll just slot over. Okay, do the same for both ends. Like that, okay? Now, what we need to do is crush that. Okay, so I have a little bit of a metal thing with different sizes in. Now, these do actually fit in that second one. Or third one, third one. Okay, now, you should be using a proper hammer, but all I have is this one. So keep your fingers out of the way and just give it a little love nudge, okay? But because I have this side around it, I have another little tool, a little stamp with a little rounded head, which goes over the top of that, like so. So I keep my fingers safe. And that clamps it down and seals it. Okay, same with the other one. There you go. That is not coming out anytime soon. <sighs> okay. So now our belt will be able to slide through there. Now, we need to attach our other piece. Now this piece I've chamfered down a bit. So I can get that in there and that in there. Like so. Alright, so I'm going to make two holes here. Ready for... In fact, I might even do three. It's wide enough. go all the way through no it didn't but it has left a mark so I know where I need to go these sides and under here now this is going to be attached here now I can do this as far down as I want okay but I don't want it quite that far I do want a little bit of height on it so it can hang off our hip if we wish it to okay so I don't want too much however I'm just going to trim the height a little bit so it's got another two inches there so I'm going to take it down to an inch and a half Okay, now it is quite square, doesn't look very pretty, so I might actually just take a, a, a I know I've just varnished it, but uh, I'm just gonna take a little bit off. to do is I've got my line here so I can feed that up to there and that is literally just going to go into there and I'm going to make my attachment my hole here <laughs> Thank you. 
Right, so that is now firmly fixed in place. That's not going anywhere. And our dagger can sit in there and our belt can go on there. Now, the last bit we really need to do on this is a clip. Now this piece here, I've already done the edges. I'm going to attach from this side over to this side. Now, this side is going to be equipped with, sorry, equipped with um, a rivet. The other side is going to be a quick release or a snap. So let's get on with that. And then that is this done. I need to make sure this, it doesn't have to seal, by the way. You can still leave a, a gap. So don't feel as though you, you have to have it tight. It's just I made enough allowance for that to be tight so it doesn't have to keep coming out or rattle around too much. If it moves too much, it might fall out while you're running. So that's in place now now what I need are these pieces now these are not rivets these are like snaps like you get in the old snap shirts that you used to pull open right so I've got the hole pill punched on both sides ready to do this okay so we've got our four pieces here we have two posts and two female sections here now the rounded head if you're gonna do this make sure you use one of these which has got a rounded section in it which will stop that round head being crushed okay so what we're going to do is you want the round head on the outside push that through just like we did with the other rivets put it into a section that's not going to damage it now we want the female section to this which uh, has got a flange on the inside look i don't know if that can you can see that very well okay so this is the female to our outside as i call it the the polished side or the rounded head okay that just slots just over the top just like the other rivets now the post has come up on the inside you can't see that but on the inside the post has actually slotted through the female side now what we get is one of these pins with a little rounded head and we put that just on the flange just a little bit and we give it two sharp hits Done. okay now that's set now that will not move don't need much now <coughs> with the female side we've got a flat head okay that might be against skin but in this case it's against our section here so that bit goes through there all right now this bit you can use the back of this all right it's not an issue so we're not going to damage anything like that now this side goes over the top like so and we need a different tool for this okay so these ones have holes in the center so they can sit like so and what that does is that goes over our piece like that and we give it a little nudge done nothing fancy yeah like that that will then go over the top and snap down and then we can unsnap it whenever we want yeah so that will slot into there that will go over the top done which will prevent our weapon from falling about it's as easy as that okay so she is done that is our leather scabbard okay so our scabbard is now finished this will hold your belt through there and it will hang at your side nice and simple you clasp quick release the dagger will come out without wearing through onto this blade because we felted the inside all right now the only thing left to do with this is to dye it any color you wish with proper leather dyes uh, so i've got to get in touch with the customer and find out what color he wants this now if you wanted you could attach another section here to allow your belt to go through so you could have it that way if you didn't want it vertical you could add other holes to this so you could allow it to attach, attach to like a cable around your leg and such but uh, it's just a basic scabbard that will stick this to your belt. 
so I hope that helps guys there will be more leather working stuff done in the future uh, but that was just a quick one for now okay so I hope that helps and uh, I hope you enjoyed the video if so please hit the subscribe button and the bell button you'll be alerted when I go with new stuff if you have any questions or comments please let them below and uh, we'll see you in the next build cheers folks bye